during this past year, I've gotten a great opportunity to, to partner with you guys on a few different things, uh, specifically the Turkey and Toys event uh, last year. I showed up for just I was intending to only be there for like an hour or so, then go home, be with kids, and do like, hey, I did my thing. And then I got to meet some really awesome folks um, who really have a strong passion for serving the community. And I ended up staying all the way to the very end, so the very last car came through. Um, and I know there was more cars that, that wanted to come through, but there wasn't enough food. And so I've made it a, a passion of mine to make sure I'm supporting what you all are doing. You guys are the boots on the ground, you're the smiling faces that people meet when they're down and out and they need something to eat, and they need uh, a listening ear, and that's, that's you guys. And so I, I got to see how you guys just love serving the community, and it really touched my heart. And so because of that, and the many other great things that you all are doing on a regular basis, day in and day out, to meet the needs of the community, we do have a resolution that we'll be presenting at the end, but I just wanna say thank you. Your work does not go unnoticed by those who you serve, and those around you. So thank you all from the bottom of my heart for what you do. With that being said, I want to introduce Delegate Bobby Ork, who represents this area. So Delegate Ork. Thank you, Phil. Yeah, I just want to echo the thanks to y'all. I mean, y'all are the folks that are making it all possible. Uh, so that the administration may be running the, the numbers and those kinds, but y'all the, the folks in the trenches, and thank you for all you do. Y'all embody what the scripture tells us, mm. as much as you do unto the least of these, my brethren. And thank you for making that real in people's lives. Mm -hmm. That, that y'all see more every day than we see through probably the whole year, the needs within our community. And, and so I want to extend my personal thanks, but also, personally, let me know if there are things that we need to do at the state level to address the needs of the citizens that you come into contact. You know, the state can't do it all. Uh, frequently, I think some of the best things we can do is get out of the way. And so in particular, for the things of that nature, let us know individually, and we'll be glad to try and do all that we can. But uh, as, as much as we, quote, serve in the legislature, y'all are the real servants of those out there in our communities. And so thank you. And uh, it's my pleasure to introduce Senator Bryce Reeves, who represents the area and been there for a few years as well. So Bryce? Well, good morning, and thank you. And I, I want to thank Phil for the hard work that he's done and, and Bobby for his leadership. Uh, and I thank you for quoting scripture. I can't help when you quote a scripture to think that the Bible says many hands make light work. Amen. And I see a lot of hands here, but there's more than just what's here today. And, you know, we have a charge, a moral obligation, in my opinion, to take care of the, the least, the last, and the lost among us. And that's what you do each and every day. You not only feed families, but you help give families hope. And there are a lot of families that need a lot of hope right now. They, they don't see the sun rising in their, their favor. They don't see those things. But when they come here and they know that you're that safety net for them, that's critical. You're keeping families together, right? And you're serving with love. And I think they see that. We see that. And, and like Bobby said, whatever we can do to make your jobs easier, to help those that you serve, that's what we're here for. We're, we're at the 30,000 foot view. We don't get to see the day ins and day outs, but we hear the stories. We work with the families when they call us. How do we navigate this bureaucracy of government to get the needs, to give them the hand up so they can succeed and move forward? And that's what you all do. And it's a tremendous, tremendous privilege and obligation and you all work here, not for money. I know that for a fact, because we don't serve for the same reason. You have it here. And for a lot of Americans, a lot of Virginians today, that is the hardest journey is from their head to their heart right now. But the people you serve see it in their hearts through their eyes. So on behalf of us in the General Assembly, thank you, thank you, thank you. Phil. And with that, um I'm not going to go through and read this all because I'm not a very good public reader. Um, this is why I don't prepare speeches. But this is a resolution that went through the General Assembly recognizing the work that you do here to serve the community. And so we just want to, again, thank you. And it is this is an official state document that's on the records. But it's really an honor that is a credit to you and our volunteer corps, yes. Dominique, our volunteer corps. So that's why I was so excited when Delegate Scott in his office offered this opportunity because 
everybody likes to be recognized for sure but how often does your recognition come from the leaders of the state and so I think it really does show that our tiny little food bank in the state the smallest one in the state can shine and it shines because of your work your commitment so thank you for being a blessing and thank you gentlemen for representing that the state understands who's out there administering care and concern on your behalf but thank you for your words of inspiration that remind us you have that same care and concern you lean on those who have the opportunity and the blessing from God to be able to be those ambassadors in the trenches.